Hello from Kevin's Backyard. I'm sure many of us out there appreciate a great smoked brisket. How tender it is, how flavorful it is, but smoking a brisket at home can be very difficult. So I'm going to share with you my knowledge and give you the basics on how to do a great smoked brisket at home. Now here we have two different types of beef brisket. We have our packer or point cut, which is about 13 to 15 pounds. We also have a flat, which is going to be about 5 to 8 pounds. I personally love using the packer cuts because they have a real nice fat cap on them which is going to melt over time, give this brisket great flavor and keep it moist. Here we have our packer cut brisket and we have a basic barbecue rub to put on it. Just make sure you're getting complete coverage of this brisket. It's going to help with the color of the bark and that's that natural caramelization of our meat along with the rub that we put on it. Now I like personally putting my rub on at least 12 to 24 hours before I'm going to smoke my brisket. If you don't have that kind of time, you can always put it on the day of. Just make sure you're taking your brisket out at least 30 to 45 minutes before you smoke it to help bring it up to temperature. With larger cuts of meat like the brisket that we're doing here, we're going to be using the low and slow method, which is keeping your temperatures around 225 to 250. Let's talk about the woods we're using. Today I'm going to be using mesquite, which can be very pungent. So remember, less is more. Now once we've taken our brisket and put it on our smoker, don't run off. We need to be checking it every hour on the hour to make sure we're maintaining that perfect smoking temperature. And do yourself a favor, at the 3 to 4 hour mark, check the internal temperature of the brisket just to see where things are at. Since our beef brisket has reached 165 degrees, we've taken it off our smoker. And now we need to wrap it. And wrapping it is going to help loosen up that muscle, going to make it more tender, more flavorful, and more moist. Now keep in mind, you want to seal this completely. Think of it as the ultimate gift. I mean, who wouldn't want a perfectly smoked beef brisket? Now once we've done that, we're going to put it back on our smoker and take it up to about 190 to 195 degrees. Our brisket has reached 195 degrees and we've taken it off our smoker. Now before you slice into it, we need to place it in a dry place, preferably a cooler or an oven, and this is going to help it sweat. And yes, I said sweat. Sweating is going to help loosen it up, making it more flavorful and more tender. Our brisket is ready. We're going to slice the fat cap off and then slice against the grain. We all love a great smoked brisket, but it can be intimidating to do at home. So hopefully the knowledge that we've given you in this video gives you the confidence to get out in your backyard and smoke your own.